Christmas has always been my favorite time of the year. There's something about the holiday that just makes it so joyous and exciting, but also comforting and warm at the same time that's always resonated with me. The idea of putting together a collection of songs that represent the holidays and just capture that same sort of magic that I felt growing up um, came to me last November and ever since I couldn't stop thinking about it. Two of my favorite influences include Michael Buble, who I strongly believe has one of the greatest, if not the greatest Christmas record of all time, and I revisit it annually, and also Adina Menzel, who put out a holiday record, I think it was in 2018 or 2017, uh, called um, Christmas A Season of Love, and that vibe that she captured in that record uh, was something special and, and truly magical as well. And then of course, the classics, Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby, Nat King Cole, um, all these wonderful artists who sort of shaped the sound of Christmas and gave it that, that magical, nostalgic, warm feel, those were also big uh, inspirations when it came to putting together a record like this. I think there's certainly a place for modern Christmas music that is largely based in pop music and, um, you know, hip hop, R&B, stuff like that. But there's something special and nostalgic about the traditional timeless classics that we grew up with as kids. Um, that's the sort of feeling and vibe that I wanted to achieve from this record. As I was brainstorming this album, I knew I wanted to put in a variety of influences that have influenced me throughout my life, which include big band, um, easy listening ballads, uh, pop, and uh, Broadway as well. And selfishly, big band is probably my favorite genre of almost all time to just listen to because there's something about that ringing horn sound and the way the ensemble plays together in that live setting that's just so special and magical that you can't really capture with other genres. So I knew that in order to capture that Christmassy big band sound, I had to do it the right way. I notated all the individual parts in Sibelius, and then I found players around the world to record remotely and send me their tracks. This entire process was super fun because um, when you're working with sample libraries and virtual instruments, they're basically doing whatever you want them to do, but uh, hearing live recordings from real players, actual real musicians, there's an element of interpretation there that you get in those live performances that you don't always get in your own sample libraries. These players were truly incredible, and it was so cool to see how they would take their time to get the parts exactly right, capturing that festive, bright sound that I wanted for these charts, and I really think it came through beautifully. It was especially fun during the mixing phase when uh, they sent me back all the recordings and I, I brought them into Logic and tried to mix them so that they sounded like they were performing in the same studio for each of these three charts. For a few of the ballads, I decided to go with live drums and live guitar in those as well, um, just to create more of a human touch in that music and the authenticity in the music performances really, really came through. The one Broadway tune in this album is actually a duet in which I collaborated with a wonderful artist named Nassim. She has an absolutely beautiful voice and I think she really, really brought my song to life, which I'm very grateful for. For the two pop songs on the album, December and uh, Jolly Old Man, um, I brought on a saxophonist named Jordan who was exceptional. I asked him to play a couple of solos in the middle of those songs and he really captured that festive, uplifting vibe that I'm going for. Uh, when it comes to the holiday season. Jazz improv is one thing among many that I have absolutely no clue about, so um, getting real, real musicians who actually know what they're doing was really important for me to make sure my piece actually sounds authentic, and Jordan did an amazing job, as well as, of course, the other musicians I brought on as well. In terms of the structure of the album, I wanted to uh, do so in a way that maintains the interest of the listener throughout the record. So um, it starts off with a very up-tempo big band number, and then we have a slower ballad, uh, very much inspired by Grown Up Christmas List, and uh, Michael Buble's It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas interpretation. And then, you know, there, there's sort of that alternation between faster and slower, um, some more up-tempo ballad sort of things in the middle with a duet, and then sort of the alternating fast, slow, fast, slow again. Um, just again, maintain the interest, keep the flow moving, and allow each song to have its own unique identity. As you listen to this, I really do hope that you enjoy the music. Um, again, it's been a labor of love and a passion for um, over a year now. And so if one or two of these songs make their way into your uh, holiday playlist this year, um, it would mean the world to me and I would love for you to let me know. Maybe just email me or uh, you know, message me on Facebook or something. Uh, it, it just means the world to know that uh, my music is reaching people out there and that it's, it's impacting them. It, you know, it, it means something to them and they're, they're enjoying it. That's the, that's the most I can ask for. And if it happens to make its way into your annual holiday rotation, then that is um, beyond anything I could ask for, honestly. Because again, I, uh, you know, my influences growing up were these classic artists who 
some are still around today and I've looked up to for a long time. And uh, if you enjoy my music as well in sort of that similar style, then it, it of course means the world to me and it's greatly, really appreciated. But I would just ask that you let me know because um, what touches me the most is knowing that you enjoy the music and it makes some sort of impact in your life. Thank you so very much for taking the time to listen and watch this behind the scenes video. I really appreciate it. And I just wish you a very, very happy holiday season, a very Merry Christmas and a very happy new year as well. I'll catch you in the next video or maybe on another record very soon. And I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Take care.